What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Limit Coin Buster video for you all today. In today's video we're going to be doing a $10 million buy-in and they gave us 100 quarters to get started today. Super, super expensive game so wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with millions of dollars in profit. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused right now because I'm not seeing any quarters at all on the pusher or on the lower shelf. Well, I mean, there's two quarter towers on the lower shelf, which those will probably take a long time to get on the fall down. So I really don't know how they were able to get by with this by only giving me a hundred quarters when there's not even a single quarter inside the machine. Yeah, I find that very, very strange that they would do that. So anyway, let's see, we probably got about 20-ish quarters left. A little bit less than that, actually. All right, well that right there was the last of the quarters, so let's see what it does. Well, one quarter fell down to the lower shelf, but there's nothing there to push. There's no quarters on the lower shelf. Well, my goodness, so we just lost $10 million right there. That is super, super unfortunate. So let's see, should I do another $10 million buy-in? They'll give me another 100 quarters. Yeah, let's do that and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we are back. So I did another $10 million buy-in. They gave me 100 more quarters. Yeah, I don't see how this is uh, right for them to do this. They have to be cheating me out of money right here. I'll definitely let the owner know about this if this second buy-in doesn't get it to go. Oh, nice. Well, the cash up front's moving. You see that? Oh, yeah, nice. That big old mystery bag just fell off of the uh, pusher back there, and it's pushing forward a little bit. It's moving this great big old humongous tower of $25,000 chips. So anyhow, we got $20 million invested into this game right here. It's a lot of money, you all. It's a lot of money indeed. So, yeah, I don't know. We only got a couple quarters left. Matter of fact, that's all of them right here. So let's see what it does. Come on, nice push. Oh my goodness. Well, that right there didn't do much. I don't even think we got any quarters back at all. Let me check the payout shoot real quick. Alrighty, I am back. So I checked that loot shoot down there, and there was no quarters in there whatsoever. However, there was a ton of cash. I think it was like three or $400 at most. And uh, I went ahead and did another $10 million buy-in, so we got uh, $30 million invested into this game. So this is getting very, very expensive. I have no clue how they're able to get by with doing this. This is just insane. I think they're trying their very, very best to make all that money back that I've been winning. It's what it seems like to me anyway. Well, those two quarter towers on the left and the right are inching forward a little bit. Oh my goodness, do you see that? There's a $1 chip right there. It's over there on that right hand side. If we can get that to fall down, that's worth 500 free quarters right there. That is awesome. So anyhow, we only got that many quarters left. Let's make them count. Let's push over there on the right. Let's go for that $1 chip. Come on, big money. Oh my goodness, nice. There we go. We finally got some quarters. That big old quarter tower on the left fell over. All right, let's see what we won real quick. We'll be right back. You all are not going to believe this. Check this out. We got like a whole handful of quarters almost, and we got two of the $1 chips. They must have been hidden underneath all that cash. So each one of these is worth 500 free quarters, so this is 1,000 quarters right here. That is absolutely amazing. And on top of that, that $1 chip that was on the right side, it fell down, but it got stuck on all that cash that stuck in the loot chute. So I think we just need some quarters to fall down and hit it or something. Oh, nice. There we go. We got a bunch of quarters over there on the left-hand side. Nice. There we go. We just got it. And a lot of that quarter tower just went. That is awesome. So I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and turn in those $1 chips and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I am back. So I turned in those $1 chips and when I come back, I seen that that big old tower of $10,000 chips on the left-hand side had fallen over. So we got about, uh, let's see, close to 1,600 quarters now. Well, it's more like 1,550 because we had probably like 50 quarters down there in the loose shoot. So that is awesome. And I also think we got that quarter tower that was on the right. So that's pretty nice. Oh my gosh. Wow, that one fell backwards as well. I don't think I've ever seen the poker chip towers on the pusher fall backwards, especially if they're that massive. 
I mean, I've seen the smaller, skinnier towers do that, but not the larger ones. That is absolutely insane. So now we got a whole bunch of chips built up behind this big old tower of $25,000 chips. Yeah, this is where all the big money's at. That's probably $10, $15 million out there on its own. But we do need to win $30 million back today. And I'm going to have a talk with the manager about this game, how it went later on. I'm going to ask him if it was legal for them to do that because that didn't seem fair at all. Because there's no way we could possibly get it to go with those first hundred quarters. Yeah, there was no chance at all of me getting it going because there's no way a hundred quarters could have knocked down anything. Especially since there was no quarters on the moving platform back there. All right, well, this big old tower, it's getting real close to going. And that mystery bag that got stuck against the glass over there on the right. I think we need to rapid fire a bunch of quarters in there. All right, let's see what that does. Hopefully we can get a good push out of this. Come on, big money. Oh my goodness, wow, did you just see that? That was awesome. Wow, that's definitely going to help us out, I think. Watch me say that and it all get stuck against the glass for like 10 hours. Nah, that ain't going to happen. We're going to get it eventually. Not going to give up any time soon. Yeah, we probably got around... Oh, goodness. We got tons of quarters still. Probably got about 800 or so left up here. Oh, nice. There they go. We're starting to get the chips in the center there. That is awesome. Let's get the loot chute cleared out. Getting super, super full. Yeah, hopefully we can get that big old mystery bag over there on the right side. So, let's see. I'm going to put a whole bunch of quarters in there at one time using the skill stop button. But anyway, uh, let's go over the blue shelves real quick. What do they got on the blue shelves? Look like there's two stacks of $100 bills. Uh, four golden towers. There's two on each side. And they got some $1,000 chip towers with some dice on top of them. The one on the left somehow fell backwards. But uh, there was a dice on top of that one. I remember seeing it. And there's also a dice on the right side there. That's visible. Or actually, there's four dice. Yeah, I didn't even point those out. The ones that are on top of those five and ten thousand dollar chip towers back there. Y'all may or may not be able to see those. But anyhow, those white dice, if we could win those, we will get to roll them at the very end of the video or the very end of the game and whatever they land on. My winnings will multiply by those numbers, so that is awesome. And we definitely have the potential to make that thirty million dollars back today. No doubt about that. And uh, let's see. They got like two oddly shaped $5,000 chip towers with quarters stacked on top of them. I don't really know what to call those. And they got some $25,000 chip towers on the blue shelves. They got it loaded up super good. Now if we could just get all these chips to go that are stuck on the edge right here. Now this has to be millions of dollars stuck on the edge for sure. Well, I can definitely tell the pusher is starting to struggle a little bit. So I may not put as many quarters in there. Don't want to take a chance on tearing up the machine or nothing like that. Even though I still wouldn't get in trouble for it, I don't want to take a chance on the machine like tearing up and not being able to get fixed for days and then I can't make any more videos, you know what I'm saying? Unless I found another place to play. So anyway, let's see. Yeah, if we could just get that Mr. Bag on the right, or if we could get all these chips that are stacked up right here in the middle of the play field, that would definitely loosen things up a little bit. Everything would start falling into the pay. Well, every time the quarters push forward, all this money, it's like moving like upwards a little bit. And the two stacks of cash, they're definitely stuck in there on the corners. There's no way we're going to get those anytime soon. I'd be surprised if we did. All right, let's rapid fire a bunch of quarters in there. All right, well, let's see what all that does. That should give us a nice push, hopefully. Come on, big money. 
Yeah, look at how many quarters are stacked up, like, way back there. That is insane. All right, well, the chips are breaking free on the left. That is a good sign right there. Honestly, I think it would be very, very beneficial to push, like, on the left side only. Because that's the only side that's uh, not clogged up. See what I'm saying? And if we could just work the left side a little bit, then maybe the center will start breaking free. Now, that's actually a very good idea. And I probably need to get that loose chute cleared out. Who knows, whenever I get that loose chute cleared out, all this money that's stuck against the glass might fall down in there. It's happened many times before. To be honest, it happens really, really consistently. I'll get the loose chute cleared out, and everything that's stuck in there just decides to go. Oh my goodness. Well, the pusher's definitely struggling now, so... Oh my goodness! Wow, look at that! My plan works! Gosh, that is absolutely amazing! Oh yeah, well at least that left side is completely broke free now. And that center... I can definitely tell that center's moving now. Now we're going to have to win all those quarters back that are piled up in there. That, that'll be the fun part. All right, let's get that loose chute cleared out a little bit. All right, there we go. All right, well, all this money seems like it's trying to break free. As long as we're consistently winning chips out of there, that's the good thing. Because that's how, you know, we're making a lot of progress on getting all this stuff to break free. Come on, nice push. Yeah, I've just been getting quarters out of the loot chute to keep the game going. We got like uh, one more basket of quarters sitting on top of the machine here. So once that's going, I'm gonna have to go down there and separate the chips and stuff and try to get some of them quarters. Well, the majority of our quarters, they're all piled up in the machine now. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this many quarters piled up inside the coin pressure before. This might be a new record, honestly. But uh, leave a thumbs up on the video if you're enjoying this so far. It lets me know that you're enjoying watching this video here. And it helps the videos get recommended to more people so I can like, grow a larger audience. You'd be helping me out tremendously. And also, I'll reward you all big time for hitting that like button. The more likes we can get on these videos, the better the content is the day after. Or the week after. Like, it's consistent good videos for days if we can get to a certain amount of likes. So, for example, if this video can get to 5,000 likes, 5,000 likes isn't that much. If we can get to at least 5,000 likes on this video today, tomorrow I will try a $100 million buy-in. How does that sound? $100 million. And I might even do a one-quarter challenge if we can get more than 5,000 likes. Nice, there we go. That was the last of our quarters as well. And it's breaking free on the left there. Well, it's the left side's broken free, but it's like breaking free in the centerish leftish area oh yeah look at that I can hear all those chips falling out of there nice there it goes it all broke free right there in the center that is amazing wow that was a lot of money heck yeah Alrighty, I am back, so check this out. That ginormous Mr. Bag that was stuck over there on the right side, it fell down while I was down there separating the chips and the quarters. It feels super, super heavy. No wonder it was stuck in there for a long time. So let's go ahead and check it out, see if there's any nice and valuable stuff in there. Well, there's still a bunch more in there. This is all I can fit in my hand right here, so let's go through this right here first. Oh, nice, so we got three ounces of gold. 
these aren't in the cases that's kind of abnormal but that's three ounces of gold right there i'll take it and uh let's see we also got some golden dice and we also got a white dice so the gold dice that'll multiply our gold by whatever they land on the white dice like i said those will multiply our winnings which is incredible and we got the mystery money keychain that could be worth a dollar all the way up to a billion dollars and we got four more one dollar chips so that's two thousand extra quarters right here that is exceptional and we also got the five dollar chip so we're going to cash that in they'll take all the stuff that is on the blue shelf so put it in here somewhere and uh let's see let's go ahead and finish out the rest of this mystery bag here it's loaded up super good oh my goodness wow nice check this out so we got like let's see four five more ounces of gold look at that five more ounces of gold i'll take it and uh let's see we also got two more one dollar chips that's another thousand quarters right there that's pretty nice and we got three more golden dice and another white dice yeah this is going to be a huge win today no doubt at all about that and we've already won pretty close to 20 million dollars in chips so we're doing super super well on this game so anyhow i'm going to try one more round try to win these quarters back and uh after we win all these quarters i'll probably go ahead and turn in the five dollar chip and all them one dollar chips so stay tuned for that more exciting gameplay coming right up well, I'm a little bit disappointed there wasn't like another special chip in there like the $10 chip or the $50 chip. Typically they'll have at least one of them in each one of these games but I'm not seeing any more mystery bags in there. So the odds of us winning another special chip today is very very slim. But this should still be a pretty nice game. The video might be a little bit short since there's no more special chips in there we get a cash in besides the five dollar chip that's all right though i try to at least get the videos to be half an hour long seems like that's pretty decent video length for most people because it seems like if the videos are less than half an hour long they don't get nearly as many views as they would if they was 30 minutes or more I don't know why that is, but it's just how it is for some reason. Well, I can see a couple chips underneath of that stack of cash on the right, so we might be able to get those out of there. Probably not the stacks of cash, but maybe the chips. Alright, so one more push and we'll go ahead and call it quits. All right, there we go. Let's see what it does. Come on, give me those quarters. Wow, that was a spectacular push there. We might even get a second wave. No second wave. But anyhow, let's go ahead and turn in the $5 chip and those $1 chips, and we'll be right back. All righty, I am back. So I turned in the $5 chip and all six of them $1 chips. They gave me 3,000 more quarters, and they took the majority of that stuff that was on the blue shelves. They put it all into the playing field, all the towers with the dice on them. Those are back there on the pressure, and I'm pretty sure you can see at least two of the four dice. The other two dice are stacked up on those really, really tall towers back there, so it might be a little bit difficult to see, but they're in there. And uh, they basically took all the poker chips, combined them all into a brand new tower back there on the pressure. The ones that was remaining on the play field anyway. So if you're wondering why they didn't put everything in there, it's because they said it would be super, super crowded, all that stuff being placed in there at one time. So they pretty much told me to win as much of this out of here as I want. And at any point in time, I could call them back here and have them do a free reset, which means they'll put those two towers, the cash and the golden towers in the play field. So yeah, we're, we'll get a free reset, which is really, really nice because we just lost a whole bunch of chips to the blue shelves. Oh yeah, nice, there we go, perfect. We got that big old golden tower to go. The cash is right there on the edge, about to go into the pay already. Yeah, so be sure you comment the number 11 if you've made it this far into the video. Comment the number 11 down in the comment section. That is the number for today. 11 is one of my favorite numbers. Oh, nice. There we go. We got both of them stacks of cash. Wow, they didn't even get stuck down there in the loot shoe. That is insane. They just fell straight out of there without any problem at all. Well, I think that's a first. 
Now typically them stacks of cash, once they fall off the edge, they get stuck against the glass or they get stuck in the loot chute really bad. A lot of times it's an uphill battle trying to get them out of there, but not today it wasn't. But uh, I hope I didn't speak too soon because we got two more stacks of cash we got to win right there. Wow, won't be long we'll have all these chips cleared out of here. Now we've won so many $25,000 chips today. But that is definitely one thing I've been noticing over the past couple of weeks, or even the past like month. They've been putting way more $25,000 chips in there than they used to. Which I think that is contributing to our like billion dollar wins daily. Yeah, here lately I've been winning close to a billion every single day. I don't think I've won anything below half a billion on these games in a long time. Well, I'm talking about the videos, the winning videos. Because I'll be playing two to five of these games a day trying to find the best video to post for you all. And a lot of times on those games I'll end up losing hundreds of millions of dollars. So I'm definitely not winning as much as it seems. Matter of fact, we're still down a lot of money. And for this year, I think we're up probably 1.7 billion right now. We lost a little bit on the game I played yesterday evening. And we lost a ton on the game I played earlier today. I prefer not getting into the amounts or anything like that, but just know it was hundreds of millions of dollars and it put us down a lot of money. Alright, let's see. Well, we've done got the majority of the chips all cleared out of there, pretty much. Yeah, really, really looking forward to that free reset. I think we got one of them dice out of there. And the other dice, that is, uh, where's that at? It's like back there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's like behind that, behind those two stacks of cash right there. We lost it to the blue shelf again. So, uh, let's see. I'm just going to clear out all these chips. Nice, there we go. That was a phenomenal push right there, you all. Yeah, hopefully this video today is at least 25 to 30 minutes long. That's like the goal for the videos, like I said earlier. Yeah, but like I said, if we can get a large amount of locks on this video, if we can get to at least 3,000 locks, well, 5,000 locks, I'll do that $100 million buy-in, but for 3,000 locks, I will try a $50 million buy-in tomorrow. So that is 100% up to you. You can hit that like button if you want to. It's totally up to you, like I said. So let's see if we can get this money on the left. Nice, there goes the majority of it. Nice, there we go. So we got it all cleared out of there. Couldn't ask for a better round than that. All right, so let's call them back here, have them reset the play field, and we'll get right back to pushing. All righty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So it turns out we actually lost two dots to the blue shelves. There was uh, one inside of that quarter tower right there. I seen it before I started recording. Because that quarter tower, it was like open, and now the quarters are like closing in or caving in on it. Yeah, I've seen a dice in there, and you can kind of see one right there in that tower a little bit if you zoom in on that. So anyway, we're actually going to get another free reset after we knock down these three towers right here. Yeah, they said it would be way too crowded to put that gold in there as well. Yeah, this must be like a new rule that they've been doing over the past month, because used to, they would put everything in there regardless, no matter how crowded it would be. But maybe they're doing that to prevent the loot chute from getting too full. I have no clue. Oh, nice. Well, we got all those quarters that was on top of those two towers there. So now we just got to focus on getting all that cash out of there. Like I said earlier, those two stacks of cash that fell out of there in the beginning were super, super easy to win. They fell straight out of the payout chute down here. They didn't get stuck in there, nothing. So hopefully I did not speak too soon on that. Well, there we go. We got both of them to go. But luckily they're right there in the center. Now if they were stuck on the corners, then it would be near impossible to win them. All right, well they got stuck in there, but that don't look like it'll be too difficult to get it cleared out. I can just uh, try to get that cleared out here in just a moment. 
And also, if this is your first time watching my channel and you're enjoying this video right here, now be sure you subscribe to the channel for daily videos like this one. Like I said, I post videos every single day, seven days a week. So be sure you tune in every single day for a brand new video. You don't want to miss out on them, that's for sure. All right, let's see. I'm going to have to get that loot chute cleared out, but I'm going to try to win these $5,000 chip towers out of there first. Or not towers. What am I saying? I meant just like $5,000 chips because there's like some over there on the right and two on the left. Right, we got one of them $5,000 chips on the left there. Now if we could just get that big old stack of them on the right, we'll be set. And the one that's over on the left hand side there. Yeah, we've won so much money today. We've done really, really good on this game. No doubt about that at all. All right, let's see. We only got a couple quarters left. Let's try to make them count. We got one more handful of quarters. All right, let's see if that right there gets that money on the right-hand side. Come on, nice push. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? It was so close. Oh, nice. We got a second wave. Wow, all that money is so close. So, anyhow, I'm going to get that loot chute cleared out, and I'll call them back here and have them do that free reset. We'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here and I had them reset the machine. Uh, they took them two golden towers that was on the blue shelf. They combined them all into one giant on this golden tower back there on the pusher. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed that a waterfall of chips a minute ago. Whenever I got that loot chute cleared out, my goodness, there was a bunch of them. So uh, anyway, let's see. I asked them what that mystery money keychain was worth. They said it was worth $15,000 today. So that's not a crazy amount of money, but it's much better than $1. That thing has the potential to be worth only $1. So yeah, we did pretty good there. And uh, now we just got to focus on winning all this gold out of here. And those $5,000 chips that was on the right side, they just like put those in the center of the play field. We're already about to get them all cleared out of there. Check that out. Nice, there we go. That was a good push right there. Oh yeah, nice. The golden tower lost the gold bar at the uh, base of it there. Nice, there it goes. That was a perfect waterfall right there, baby. Oh yeah, we're making an absolute fortune. Oh yeah, nice, there we go. It won't be long, we'll have it all cleared out of there. I mean, all the gold is right there in the center, so it should be super easy to win. Oh yeah, nice, there we go, one more gold bar to go, let's win it. Nice, we got it, we got the whole entire machine cleared out today, that is absolutely fantastic. This has been a marvelous game today, absolutely marvelous. So now I'm going to go ahead and call them back here, I think we have won 11 dice in total, we got 6 of the white dice and 5 of the golden dice, they'll put all 11 of them dice on the pusher, we got to roll them one out to here, and whatever they all land on, we're going to get to multiply our winnings and our goal by those numbers, so let's call them back here and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, here's where the magic is about to happen. You're about to see all those dice multiply our winnings and their gold by a bunch, potentially. And uh, whatever numbers are facing upwards, whenever we roll them on down to here, that's going to be our multipliers for today. And if any of them wins on a one, just pretend those don't exist because the ones do not count at all. We went on everything from two to six. So, oh nice, there we go. We got a double six on those two white dice on the left there. Got one more on the gold, so just pretend that one's not even in there. All right, well, we got two more white dice to roll. Oh, nice, we got a four. Nice, it flipped over to a six. 
Did you see that? That was amazing. So now let's try to get that last dice to fall down to the lower shelf. Oh no, or we're probably going to end up losing one of these dice if we keep on pushing too much more. See this two right here, if that falls over the edge, we lose it completely. So I'm going to try to push on the right side only, put a couple quarters in there at a time. Alright, let's see if that does it. Yeah, if any of the dice fall over the edge or down the gutters, we lose them completely. So we're definitely going to call it quits right there. Yeah, this dice right here is probably a push or two away from going. So anyway, the majority of them dice landed on some decent numbers. So I'm going to count everything up, multiply our winnings and our goal by all that, and I'll let you know how much money we have made today from a... $30 million buy-in will be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely amazing. I ended up winning $21,073,360. That is the chips and the cash in that keychain all put together. And the white dice today totaled up to 23, so I'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 23. And in total, I ended up winning 484 million six hundred and eighty seven thousand two hundred and eighty dollars from a thirty million dollar buy-in that is absolutely amazing right there and speaking of that thirty million dollar buy-in i am going to have a talk with the manager about that after i cash out and everything i'm going to let him know that there was not a single quarter on the play field at the start and i'll give you all an update on what he says tomorrow who knows maybe the employees who uh, let me buy in they might get fired or something you never know because I mean it's happened a lot recently the employees do stuff to cheat you and then they'll get fired the next day so I don't know like I said I'll update you all tomorrow but anyhow that is a exceptional win right there so almost a half a billion dollar win today from a 30 million dollar buy-in that is just insane Holy smokes, I am thrilled right now. This is a terrific win for sure. And uh, moving on, we also won 85 ounces of gold. And the gold dice totaled up to 14, so I'm going to get to multiply the gold by 14. And in total, I ended up winning 1,190 ounces of gold today. Spot price of gold is like 2,250 an ounce. So that means we got $2,677,500 in gold. And uh, we also won 3,000 and five quarters. So let's divide that by four to get the dollar amount. That means we got $751.25 in quarters. I'll take it. So that is not bad, not bad at all for a $30 million buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you leave a like on it and hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon. That way you're notified for future videos. And uh, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen there. And if you want to check out my previous video, yesterday's video, that will appear at the bottom left of the screen. And uh, if you want to check out this amazing video right here, you're welcome to do that if you want to. And uh, lastly, if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click that button at the top right of the screen. So with all that being said, I'll see everybody on the next video. Y'all take care and have an awesome day.